this experiment is used to interface a PIR sensor with node MCU and the data collected from the PIR sensor, it is sent to ThinkSpeak uh, uh, cloud platform and it is recorded in the form of a chart. So for this experiment, the connection is uh, uh, PIR has got three pins, VCC, output pin and a ground pin. VCC pin of PIR sensor is connected to VCC pin of node MCU. Ground pin of PIR sensor is connected to ground pin of node MCU. And output pin of uh, PIR sensor, it is connected to uh, D2 pin of node MCU. So uh, this is the circuit diagram of interfacing of PIR sensor with node MCU. Uh, in this code, uh, the thing speak uh, in this code, um, uh, if, uh, if uh, the thing speak uh, uh, function is used to send a data to a, a specific field. So this is a, a function. And this code connects an ESP8266 module to a Wi-Fi network and it reads the data from PIR sensor, it is a motion sensor, and it prints the sensor data to the serial monitor. And at the same time, it sends the data to the ThinkSpeak channel at some regular interval of time. So hash include ESP8266 uh, uh, and hash include ThinkSpeak.h. So these two lines uh, uh, include the necessary library files uh, for working with ESP8266 Wi-Fi model and the ThingSpeak platform. This is for uh, ESP8266 Wi-Fi model and the second one is uh, ThingSpeak uh, platform. ESP8266 Wi-Fi library, uh, it allows you to connect ESP8266, uh, the first one, ESP8266 uh, module uh, to Wi-Fi network and the ThingSpeak library, the second line, the ThingSpeak library uh, facilitates sending data to the ThingSpeak cloud platform. Next comes these two lines, co constant character SSID is equal to and uh, constant character password. So here the Wi-Fi credentials are defined. In these two lines, the Wi-Fi credentials are defined. SSID stands for Wi-Fi network's name and the password is the password required to uh, connect to that network. So you have to replace these two placeholder with your actual Wi-Fi network credentials. Next is unsigned long channel ID and a constant character API key. So these two, uh, the channel ID and API key are used to identify and authenticate your ThingSpeak channel. A ThingSpeak channel is uh, where a data is sent and stored and you should replace these placeholders with your actual ThingSpeak channel ID and API key. Now I will show you how to create a ThingSpeak channel for PIR sensor. So after explaining the full code, I will show you how to create a channel ID. Then next is a constant pin PIR pin equal to D2. So this line uh, defines the pin connected to the PIR. It is a passive infrared motion sensor and D2 is predefined pre constant and that represents a specific GPIO pin on ESP8266. This pin will be configured as input to read the motion sensor's signal. Next is Wi-Fi client client. And here, uh, yeah, it is an instance, an instance of Wi-Fi uh, client class is created. So this instance will be used to communicate with Wi-Fi network. It is an instance. Okay. So next, we have wide setup, this function. So the wide setup function is where the initial setup of the device is performed. Next, serial.begin. This initializes the serial communication at the baud rate of 
115220200 allowing you to communicate with esp8266 uh, uh, esp8266 over the serial port next is wifi dot begin ssid comma password so this will uh, this attempts to connect to the wifi network using provided credentials the code then enters a loop and where it checks the successful connection wl connected or not so it prints connecting to here it prints connecting to wifi while attempting to connect and once connected it prints connected to wifi this line if it is connected then it prints connected to wifi okay and next next is things speak dot begin client this line so this initializes the things speak library with wifi client instance next is pin mode pir com pir pin comma input this configures the pir pin as an input which means it will be used to read data from the pir sensor uh, mo motion se sensor next we have delay 2000 so it introduces 2 seconds of delay and allowing pir sensor to set it after the initial setup next wide loop okay so the this loop function uh, is the main part of the code and it runs repeatedly uh, after the setup function is come setup function completes okay so next uh, digital read this one digital read pir pin so this reads the value of pir sensor and which will be either high high means motion detected or low low means no motion so it prints the pir value if pir value is high the motion is detected in the serial monitor and if the pir value is low so it prints no motion in the uh, serial monitor next is things speak dot write field so this sends the pir sensor value to the things speak channel specified by the channel id and the value sent to the field one of channel and the data is authenticated using api key so this is the important uh, line to send data to the things speak after that we have a function delay 15000 so it sends data uh, every 15 seconds to the thing speak so this is the meaning of the program now i'll explain how to create channel in the thing speak and how to copy the api key and channel id from the thing speak channel now uh, uh, now you should go to the thing speak uh, account so first you should click on google chrome and type thing speak and uh, uh, after entering your mail id and uh, the thing speak channel password you, you will uh, get this uh, window that is thing speak account you, the, your thing speak account will be opened here and first you should click on channel and he, here you have to create a new channel okay so click on new channel so after clicking on new channel okay so after clicking on new channel give the name of the uh, uh, your experiment i have given as pir sensor and uh, uh, write down some description of your experiment to detect motion of the objects and in, uh, I, I need only one parameter in field one that is pir value then you click on save save channel after clicking on save channel uh, you have to copy this channel id and paste it in your program and click on api keys and copy this api key and paste it in your program 
So only two things you should do. Copy uh, channel ID and copy API key and uh, write it. Uh, after uh, creating channel in the ThingSpeak uh, um, uh, cloud platform uh, and uh, uh, after writing program and after copying uh, the channel ID into my program and after copying API key um, from the ThingSpeak channel into my program, now I will upload my program uh, using the tool. I'll show you where I uh, where I copied my channel ID. This is my channel ID and this is my API key. So where I get the API key and channel ID from my ThingSpeak account. So this is my channel ID. You just copy it and paste it there. And uh, how to get API key? So click on API keys. So this is our API key. You copy this API key and paste it in your program. So I have already pasted my API key and my channel ID. And after giving all this, uh, all my credentials, uh, SSID and password. Now I will upload the program. For uploading program, go to tools and uh, check the uh, port to which port your node, uh, uh, node MCU is connected. Uh, so uh, please select this and select the board node mc 1.0 asp 12e model after that you click on upload button so once you click on the upload button on this side it will be uh, showing compiling sketch here it will show the compiling sketch it needs some time to compile it takes for two or two, two or three seconds of time to compile it. After compiling, it starts uploading. Now it is showing done compiling. On the left side, it is displaying uh, the program is getting uploaded, uploading and in terms of percentage, you wait till it becomes 100%. Okay, now it is 100%. Now you do the connection. This is our PIR sensor. This is our PIR sensor. The first one is VCC pin and um, middle one is output pin and the last one is ground pin. VCC pin of PIR sensor you connect it to VCC pin of node MCU. This is VCC pin of node MCU and ground pin of PIR sensor you connect it to ground pin of uh, uh, node MCU and the middle one is output pin the output pin of node MCU it is connected to uh, D, D2 pin D0 D1 D2 pin because in program I have used D2 pin so you connect the output pin to D2 pin of node MCU so after doing connection so you open serial monitor So open serial monitor okay so you check here now it will display if it is not displaying you just press reset button so it is giving PIR value 1 and motion detected so because I am keeping one obstacle here I am keeping one obstacle near the PIR sensor so it is detecting the motion so that's why it is giving the value as PIR 1 and motion detected after some amount of time so it will give PIR value 0 0 means no motion see now I removed my hand it is giving PIR value 0 and no motion so if I press uh, if I move again once again I will move, move again once again and I'll remove so it will give, it will uh, send a message uh, motion uh, detected so PIR value is equal to 1 and motion detected the same thing we will observe it uh, in things speak channel so go to channel click on my channel 
so here the channel name i have given as pir sensor click on pir sensor so here i'll get see how many points i am getting so just now uh, at 2256 at this time its value was 1 pir value is 1 and at 2257 i removed my hand it is giving pir value 0 again i kept my hand at 2257.37 seconds so it is giving me the value pir value 1 like this so it is updating see here 2258 it is giving 0 again so like this the data is updated in the thing speak channel so at any point of time you can check so um, whether the PIR sensor is detected the motion or not and at the same time you can see the value in a serial monitor. Thank you.